Now, if you see here in sixth part, they put as initial preview. This is mentioned as in the remark. This is a rough preview of a scene based on the mood board created in the initial stage to provide a basic representation of the lighting, geometry, and materials in the 3D model, allowing for adjustments to enhance its accuracy and quality. Now, if you see here, what they have mentioned is this is a rough preview of these scenes based on the mood board created in the initial stage. Now, that will be the first point of mood board so which is a donkey's work because they have done a master mood board and even they are going going for the initial mood board i don't know if that is correct but if they're taking it from the third pointer as master board board then it is fine because they have done a floor layout they have done a cad elevations now again they're going to a mood board so this is why it is always recommended first you do a mood board then do a top view if necessary do the front elevations where the customer wants then start 3d modeling as per the front elevations what you have done and what customer has freezed so this will help you to do a 3d design customer is exactly looking for then after that they have a seventh point pointer which is revision one so in this initial preview what happens is never do this where you render the images and send it to the customer because what happens in initial preview what these people have mentioned is they are going to do a 3D as per the initial mood board. So once you have done a 3D model it is always recommended you bring down the customer to your showroom or to your office where you can give them a presentation on what 3D modeling you have done as per the client's requirement. So sometimes what happens the customer will not understand what you have put in the designs why you have put because some designs are not practically possible on site which the customer might send you a reference photo from the internet so you may change it and do something other design where it is practically possible in their execution stage so bring down the customer to the office take down a meeting show them explain explain the elements explain the materials explain why we have to increase or decrease the height width what is practically possible in the uh, site during execution so all those things because sometimes even we add lot of designs elements and which may also shoot the customer's budget high so in this sixth pointer what they've done is initial preview then they come for seven the revision so in the revision the remark what they've mentioned is design revisions may involve alteration to layout color schemes material furniture placement and other elements within the interior space undertaken to address clients feedback meet specific requirements or improve the overall design so basically what these people are doing in seventh pointer they are going to take all the feedback from the sixth pointer where they will send the 3d uh, designs or they will get the customer to their office and after the meeting they are going to do redo the corrections so in eighth point is they have done as draft renders now following the initial set of alterations the designs undergo successive refinement stages attentional detail are incorporated textures becomes more distinct client specification are adhered to and the overall quality of the images is improved so if you see they are going to give draft renders in eighth pointer and i don't know what they will be giving them in the sixth pointer if it is initial preview they are giving raw renders obviously a customer will not understand the raw renders because you are going to just snip out a raw image from the 3d model this is not how it is done if you if the customer wants a 3d you it is recommended if you are rendering render and and then send the images to the customer because this is what the customer will be expecting from the firm or from the designer so then after the draft renders are sent what the nine pointer they have doing is revision two. what they put in remark is this would be the final set of modification based on any remaining feedback client approval or final considerations that may have arisen during the design development process final designs alterations are aimed to fine tuning and perfection and perfecting the designs to ensure it aligns precisely with the client's vision and meets all requirements and refer and reflects the desired aesthetic and functionality so basically what these people are doing is after the draft renders are sent the customer will give them again the corrections and that correction they'll be doing in revision two. this you cannot do it because if you are sending the renders as i told earlier sit down with the customer take down a meeting 
understand what they want to change understand what they are not understanding clarify them what things are there in your designs and what they are looking for take down those pointers and then redesign then do a revision then you can send see then they have put us in the 10th point as final renders the designs from the client and then start rendering if you are rendering through some rendering engine in the 3d software like sketchup or 3ds max it will take time but if you are using rendering engine like online there are so many platforms where in one single click they give you renders out you can take multiple renders but if you are using a 3d modeling software it will take time so it is always suggested to take the final approval from the client where they have freeze the things and they are not going to change then start the final render when so final renders what they have mentioned is final renders are detailed and polished visual representations of the interior space that they capture the design aesthetic details light textures and overall ambience providing a realistic preview of how the finished interior will appear the final renders are nothing but a uh, high quality renders where the lightings the textures are everything placed and rendered very neatly so this neatly render should be done in initially also so this final renders there are designers architects interior designers who also do post production to get a more detailing render so these renders are the final renders which will be sending to the client and also will be used to show on to your vendors where they'll be working on site so they'll know how things are coming out in their project then you have service drawings so here what they mentioned is service drawing or technical drawings are detail and precise drawings that communicate the technical accepts aspects of the designs they include plans elevation section and other drawings necessary for the implementation of the design basically the service drawing what it is mentioned are these are final cad drawings or 2d drawings which are drafted with all the finalized designs which are rendered which are going to happen on the project on site these 2d drawings are drafted in the software with each and every detail measurements of what is the width height depth and uh, the might be the hinge positions might be the uh, positions of all might be where all the accessories are coming so this is how all the uh, 2d diagrams looks like so these 2d diagrams are detailed diagrams for the vendors and these diagrams will be also sent to the customer for their reference also so that they also know what the things are happening on site and so the customers the vendors and the firms will be on the same page so also do note that there are different cad drawings or 2d drawings which the factory people will use the corporates used more detailed drawings if you are having a carpenter working on site so they do not need more detailed drawing so they need a good detail where they can understand what is the height width depth and what all things are coming and the 3d designs these things are later on sent to the customer so after this there will be some minor changes when it will it will happen during the execution part so later on those with things will be altered and the, the approvals will be taken from the client on the site itself and the things will be done over there so the 12th pointer these people have put as POQ so what they put in remark is bill of quantities is a document that breaks down a construction project into specific tasks and materials making it easier to plan budget and execute the project bill of quantities nothing but how much materials are getting used on the site the firm needs to know how many ply hoods how many hinges how many handles how many quantity of hardware is required so this is what bill of quantity means and these people have mentioned as make it easier to plan so there is nothing like make it easier to plan so bill of quantity is this is the amount where the firm will spend on the materials excluding the labor so a rest of after the completion of the projects minusing the bill of quantity the materials the labor charge the remaining amount will be the profit so making it too easy to plan is there is something known as project planner where they plan each and everything on which week or which date or which month what tasks needs to be happens and for this the task to go smoother the firm should ensure that they have a proper funding for that project or they have taken the proper payment from the client it is not that bill of quantity you do and you have a material list and you send the vendors to the site and they don't have the materials to do on site which this local firms do most of the times and they end up sitting simply on sites 
and the project timeline keeps on increasing so bill of quantity is something very simple that what how much materials you need how much hinges you need how much handles you need how much channels you need how much accessories you need and how much light fixtures you need this is what is known as bill of quantity this is what the process of this form a local form has done basically there is a simple process where every interior form follow this process is also fine which is almost the similar design process which people follow outside but these have bit complicated here and there this is how a design process works so each form each outlet will have their own way of designing some firms will just start with a floor plan and they give quotations and they don't do mood board and all they'll start doing 3d direct and some will do mood board and some will start directly 3d they won't start with cat they'll call the customer to their office they'll do a meeting they'll show their finished project they'll show their finished project renders also and they'll ask their uh, design taste so in that they'll start directly 3d then they'll show the renders they'll do a client meeting they'll give a presentation and once things are finalized then they'll go to cad drawing they'll not waste time in doing 2d drawings initially so that is how a form will look like uh, to make the process faster and easier so this is how a design process of form so i'll be doing a detailed uh, video on how a design process actually work is done in coming videos so do hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos like this thank you yeah. Yeah.